All right, guys, today we are going to be testing two of the most popular impact drivers, Milwaukee and DeWalt. Both of these companies are pretty much like top of the line power tool manufacturers. So we're going to, going to be testing these two against each other, see which one's the best. I bought both of the complete kits. So let's just open these up, see what you get. Before I open them up, the Milwaukee kit was $264 and the DeWalt kit was $239. So the Milwaukee kit is only $25 more than the DeWalt kit. Just keep that in mind as we go through all of our tests. So the Milwaukee kit, you get obviously the impact driver, you get two of these 18 volt, five amp hour batteries, and you also get the charger to charge them, which charges the 18 volt batteries and it also charges the 12 volt batteries. So with the DeWalt kit, you get pretty much the same thing, except for you get the impact driver, of course, but with the DeWalt kit, you get two four amp hour batteries instead of five amp hour, so two four amp hour batteries. And then of course, you get the, the charger, which also charges 20 volt and 12 volt, because DeWalt is 20 volt, Milwaukee is 18 volt. For both of them, you, you get the same stuff. The Milwaukee, I think, is a better value, just looking at what we have here, because it's only $25 more, but it has two five amp hour batteries instead of two four amp hour batteries. So that's quite a bit of value. Also, considering that for these tests, I bought a five amp hour DeWalt battery, just because the Milwaukee has five amp hour batteries. So I bought a separate five amp hour just to keep everything consistent. And just this one battery was $77. So I think the extra $25 so far is worth it for just the extra, extra battery capacity. So let's take a closer look at the impacts. All right, so first let's take a look at the chucks. Both of, the, both of these impact drivers have what is called, I believe they call it a one touch chuck just meaning that you can take anything that's a quarter inch and then just with one hand, you can just push it in there and then it's locked in. With all of the, if you don't know, with all of the older style of these, you had to hold it, you had to put it, bring it there and then pull this forward and then put it in and then you were good. But all these new ones just have the one touch thing. So you can just push it in. Second, let's look at the lights. So whenever you turn both of them on, they both have lights. The DeWalt has three lights, the Milwaukee only has one light. I like the three lights better, and I'll show you why. So with the Milwaukee, if you're using it, now you hit it, and then you go to, like you're going to put a, a screw in or something, you can see here that where the light is on the bottom, it projects up, so the top is completely just a shadow. So whenever you go to do something, if you're, it's not like a big deal, but if you're in like, say the complete dark, it might be a little bit hard to see, whereas with the DeWalt, whenever you hit the thing, where it has the three lights, everything is completely lit up from all angles. So I like the lights better on the DeWalt. I think that's just a way better design, have lights 360 so you can see it because you're not always using a, a drill like from this angle. You know, you might be over top of it, you might be on the side, whatever. So the DeWalt is covered from all angles. I like that a lot. Also the Milwaukee, as you can probably see, is a little bit more compact, roughly four and a half inches or so. The DeWalt is about five and a quarter. Not like a huge difference. That little tiny bit on the Milwaukee, if you are going in like, if you're working in like a really tight space or something, that little, just a, even a, a quarter inch could be the difference between getting a job done and not getting a job done. So. I like that the Milwaukee is com is more compact. Pretty much anything that's more compact is always going to be easier to work with and it just usually works out being better. I'm not going to go over like all the specific specs and things because it really doesn't matter because we're going to do all of our tests and we're going to see which one performs the best. So the specs don't really mean anything. It's all about how they perform. So the batteries, the Milwaukee has four bars on the front of the battery pack. The DeWalt has three bars on the rear of the battery pack. I don't really care one way or the other. It doesn't really matter. I do, 
I do prefer to have four bars just because four bars does give you a little bit better idea of where your battery is at over three, but not a big deal. Also, both impacts have three modes, three uh, speed modes, and then they have a fourth, I don't even know what they call it. DeWalt calls it something, Milwaukee calls it something. I think they're the fourth mode, or no, I just lied to you. The DeWalt has th only has three modes, the Milwaukee has four modes. The Milwaukee's fourth mode, I think it has something to do with uh, whenever you're getting a screw started so it doesn't strip it out or something. It's not really gonna matter for the purpose of our tests. Three speed modes, and then that fourth mode. The DeWalt only has three modes, just three speed modes. So we're gonna be running both of these on speed three for the majority of our tests. Now, this is something that I just noticed just playing around with these by myself. I want you to listen to the difference of the motor between the Milwaukee and the DeWalt. I'm just gonna push them and just listen. The Milwaukee, the DeWalt. Milwaukee, DeWalt. I don't know, I don't know what you guys hear, but when in person, whenever I hear the DeWalt, this DeWalt, it just sounds, the DeWalt just sounds more like, I don't know how to describe it. It just sounds more like rough and like kind of, like there's something that's like not quite right in there. It, it just, it has more of like a, like a cheap sound to it than the Milwaukee. I, the Milwaukee sounds a lot better. Of course, that pretty much means nothing. That's just my personal opinion. I like the sound of the Milwaukee better, but let's start doing our test and see which one performs the best. So I just completely forgot to tell you what tests we're gonna do. We're gonna be doing two tests. We're gonna be doing one test to see which impact can put in different size screws the fastest, and then we're gonna do a second test to see which one has the longest lasting battery. So for the first one, we are going to be putting in a two inch wood screw, see which one does that the fastest, then a three inch wood screw, and then a quarter inch by four inch lag screw, and then a quarter inch by five inch screw, then a quarter inch by six inch screw, then a three eighths by six inch screw, and then a half inch by five inch screw, and then as like a grand finale, depending on how this one goes, we're gonna see which one can put in the half inch by 10 inch long screw. So I'm not even sure if these impacts are powerful enough to put this in. If they are, then they should be able to get this in, but I don't know. So we'll kind of walk down the line and then we'll see what happens. Okay, so here's my plan for all of the tests. I just have two four by fours stacked on top of each other, clamped down to the table. And then I have both of the screws already kind of started a little bit. What I want to do for each test is just have a drill in each hand and then have them on the screws and then just push them and then just let them race to see which one gets it in first. Let's go ahead, get that there, get this here. Three, two, one. That was pretty close. That was. That was actually really close. If it counts for anything, the Milwaukee is a little bit deeper than the DeWalt, but I might have just held on to it just a little bit longer. Let's do this again. Yeah, they're even. So far, this is the a little bit more competitive than what I thought. Three, two, one. The Milwaukee, I stopped it as soon as I saw the Milwaukee hit the wood, and the DeWalt is a little a little bit higher. The, the DeWalt was a little bit slow on that one. That could have also been me. We'll go a third time. We might have to bring in the slow mode to see, see who's gonna win this race. This time I'm gonna switch hands, put the DeWalt in the right hand, walk in the left hand. See if that makes a difference. All right, three, two, one. Ooh, I held on to both of those for a pretty long time. The Milwaukee is they're both obviously buried in the wood. The Milwaukee is deeper in the wood than the DeWalt. I mean, the Milwaukee kind of won the first one, the DeWalt won the second one, and then the Milwaukee kind of won the third one. I think we do one more just to see. I got two, two brand new screws. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. What is going on here? Maybe, th maybe this is a right-handed Milwaukee. I don't think I bought the left-handed one. All right, three, two, one. That, that time the DeWalt is deeper than the Milwaukee. 
I think for as far as the three or the two inch wood screw is concerned, I think that's a draw. I think they're pretty much equal. So let's go on to the three inch wood screw. We have a whole nother inch to work with here. So that could be the difference between, between these two impacts. Make sure they're both going the right way. They are three, two, one. I don't understand why I'm having so much trouble. All right, three, two, one. Milwaukee definitely won that one. The Milwaukee is buried deep in there. The DeWalt is just kind of almost stuck on the surface. We're gonna go again, just to, just to be sure. All right, three, two, one. Mm, same, literally almost the exact same thing. The DeWalt is, they're both buried in, but the, the Milwaukee is buried deeper. As we get bigger, the more power that's required, I think the Milwaukee is gonna continue to pull farther and farther ahead of the DeWalt. For the third one, we'll switch hands. Three, two, one. Oh yeah, the, the Milwaukee is buried really deep in there. The DeWalt is even closer to the surface than it was before. So for the three inch wood screw, Milwaukee definitely wins. Now we are on to the quarter inch by four inch lag screws. Now we're really getting into some, some bigger stuff. Three, two, one. I mean, that's clearly Milwaukee. Milwaukee is touching the wood. DeWalt is like, oh, DeWalt is a half inch. That's kind of embarrassing for DeWalt. We'll run it again, just like before. All right, three, two, one. Oh, whoops, I stopped a little bit. I stopped a little bit early, but the DeWalt is still a good ways above the wood. Let's go again. That's even, it's even worse than before. The Milwaukee is literally buried into the wood and the DeWalt is probably, probably even more than a half inch. Look, just a little bit more than a half inch. I'll do it a third time, but I think the Milwaukee's gonna win again. Three, two, one. <laughs> it just keeps getting worse. Oh, that's not quite as bad. That's half inch pretty much. Quarter inch by four inch lag screw. Milwaukee wins, not by a long shot, but definitely wins. Hopefully you guys understand the drill by now. <laughs> no pun intended. This is the quarter inch by five inch screw. Three, two, one. Milwaukee again. Milwaukee's actually buried in a little bit, about three eighths of an inch. So not horrible. All right, let's go again. We'll switch hands. Three, two, one. Same result, again. This one's just a, I mean, like a quarter of a millimeter away from being a half inch. I mean, I think that's, I think that's conclusive enough for, for these uh, screws. The Milwaukee is obviously faster. Now we'll be moving on to the quarter inch by six inch screws, but unfortunately I won't be able to do both of them at the same time because I didn't realize until just now that these take a special kind of bit and the box only came with one bit. We're just gonna do them one at a time and the there will be like a timer on the screen from the time I start to the time I finish. So you'll be able to see the times of each drill. So you guys will actually know before I do which one wins, but I should have a pretty good feeling just off of the, just from the feel. So the Milwaukee will go first. I, have, I think I'm also gonna measure each one, make sure they're all, same height, five and a half inches. So I'm gonna start them all off at five and a half inches and then go from there. Three, two, one. I feel like that's pretty fast. I feel like it's gonna also be kind of hard to beat. All right, this one is five and a half inches. Three, two, one. That, that definitely felt slower than Milwaukee, so. Like I said, I'm not gonna know for sure because I can't see the time, but just based off of feel, Milwaukee felt quite a bit faster. All right, three, two, one. Yeah, that's, I'm gonna go ahead and just call it, that's faster than DeWalt. All right, this one is actually just a little bit lower than five and a half inches. So I'm just gonna leave it at that and see if maybe the DeWalt can beat the Milwaukee's time with just a little bit of a head start. Three. Two, one. That could have been close. You guys will obviously see. 
Now, just for fun, since I'm 99% sure that Milwaukee is faster than DeWalt on this, there is, you can see here, there's a big knot in this board right here. So I'm gonna put, put one right through the knot with the Milwaukee and see if the Milwaukee can still beat the DeWalt's time even with a giant knot in the way. Three, two, one. <laughs> that still felt really fast. So we'll see if that's faster than the DeWalt. Let's move on to the next one. All right, now we're getting into big boy territory. We're up to the three eighths by six inches. So I have measured both of these and both of the flanges are exactly five inches from the wood. So everything is the same. Three, two, one. Wow. I mean, I was, since the Milwaukee's been winning, I was expecting the Milwaukee to win, but I mean, that's very significant. So kind of like what I predicted earlier that the, the bigger and the more resistance the screws were gonna take, the farther and farther ahead the Milwaukee was gonna climb. So the Milwaukee is touching and more than an inch and a half still out. We're gonna do it one more time, just because of why not. I'm gonna switch hands and put the DeWalt in the right hand, just see if it makes a difference. I don't think it will, but we're gonna do it anyway. Three, two, one. This poor, this poor DeWalt, this thing is just, this thing just keeps looking worse and worse and worse. I know it's about the same. Oh, this poor DeWalt. If you, if you're a DeWalt fan, I'm sorry. This is, probably, this is probably gonna make you cry. All right, moving on to the thickest diameter that we have, half inch. These are half inch thick by five inches long. If history repeats itself, I would say the Milwaukee is probably gonna take this by a landslide because it seems the bigger and more work it takes to put something in, the faster the Milwaukee gets. All right, three, two, one. As you would expect, the Milwaukee won again, about an inch and three eighths sticking out. So not a ton, but it does prove yet again that the Milwaukee is faster. Finally, time for the big boys. We got, these are half inch by 10 inches long. So I think we can pretty much all say that the Milwaukee's gonna win unless something crazy happens. So the question is, how badly will the Milwaukee beat the DeWalt? How much of this bolt or screw do you think is gonna be sticking out whenever the Milwaukee touches, touches the four x four? Whenever the Milwaukee gets done, I think there's probably gonna be two inches of this sticking out. Three, two, one, go. Well, my little, my little rig kind of fell apart. The Milwaukee is touching. The DeWalt is obviously not touching. And it is, it is two and a quarter inches sticking out. I mean, that's, that's pretty bad. <laughs> wow. So after all of our tests, I think we can convincingly say that as far, when it comes to putting uh, screws in, lag bolts, whatever, the Milwaukee is definitely, definitely dominant. And it has way more power than the DeWalt. All right, we are moving on to our battery test. Both, like I said before, both drills are gonna be using their five amp hour batteries. Recharged both of the battery packs, so both of them are new. I'm gonna be using two brand new 5.8 spade bits for each drill, and we're just gonna drill as many holes in the two by four as we can until the battery goes dead. I have six two by fours for each drill, so hopefully they don't drill more than six two by fours worth of holes. I don't think they will, but I could be sadly mistaken. I've lit the Milwaukee go first in I think every single test so far. So in this one, we are gonna let the DeWalt go first. All right, so we are almost through one full two by four, almost, and the drill, I actually just kind of burned myself a little bit. The drill is so hot, I can smell it burning. The handle's almost, well, it's kind of cooled down now, actually. But the handle was getting so hot that I almost couldn't hold it, so I'm probably gonna have to get a glove. Okay, the handle is 100 degrees. This part 
is 140 degrees. It shot up, whenever I was measuring this metal part, it shot up to 192, averaging about 160 degrees. The chuck is 175. Moral of the story, this thing is getting really hot. I'm probably gonna have to get, gonna have to get a glove. And we are down to one bar of battery, which is a little bit more to go. Hey, as long as we go slow, we might be able to get two or three more holes out of this thing. All right, so let's just keep going slow. See if we can get maybe two or three more holes. Oh, that was it. As soon as we got through that one hole. Let's see how hot this thing is. 194, 160 back here, 108 for the battery pack. I will count up all these holes after the Milwaukee is done. But basically we know that the DeWalt did a full two by four and then, and then eight more holes. We'll have a rough idea if the Milwaukee does more than that. All right, now before we get started, you've been leading this entire race. Don't screw it up here. I gave my drill a little prep talk. This really isn't looking good. I can tell that the I can tell that the end is near. We're on one bar and it's flashing. So if we can just finish up this two by four and then get just a few more holes, it can still beat the DeWalt. Had a feeling. Batteries flashing. I just I could just tell that the end was near. The metal part, 226 degrees. So quite a bit hotter than the DeWalt. Bouncing between 190 and 210 back here. Handle is 111 degrees. Battery pack is 120. The Milwaukee is running way hotter than the DeWalt. And I don't I didn't like time it exactly. So I don't know for sure, but I would say that the Milwaukee probably drilled all of these holes way faster than the, than the DeWalt. It's not what we're testing. We're not testing to see how fast it can drill the holes. We're testing to see who can drill the most holes. I'm gonna count all these up and see which one drilled the most holes. Before I start counting, can we just all admire this huge pile of sawdust down here? That is a lot of sawdust, especially from drilling holes. I'm not very happy because I had all of these insults and all of these jokes worked up in my head that I was going to make about this DeWalt because the Milwaukee was beating this DeWalt in every single test until I decided to do a battery test to see which one's going to last the longest. I had all these insults worked up because this Milwaukee was on pace to beat the DeWalt in everything. So I was going to come over here and I was going to say, oh, if you want a, a boat anchor or a doorstop or a paperweight, buy a DeWalt. But if you actually want to get something done, buy a Milwaukee. But guess what? I can't do that anymore. You know why? Because you have to have your stupid little batteries that run out faster than these batteries, and then you have to rob me of the opportunity to roast this DeWalt. And I'm not very happy about it. I really, really, really wanted to say that this DeWalt was trash. I don't even want to look at you anymore. You just, you just turn that way. I don't even want to see you. So, here's the numbers from the drill off, battery test, whatever. So the DeWalt drilled 278 holes. The Milwaukee drilled 255 holes. So there is a 32 hole difference, meaning the DeWalt drilled 32 more holes than the Milwaukee. Now, in my opinion, my personal opinion, even though I tend to like Milwaukee over DeWalt, I still think that the Milwaukee is a little bit better of a value, even though it drills 32 less holes. We also noticed that the Milwaukee got hotter and it also outperformed in every other test. So that tells me that the batteries put out more amperage than the DeWalt batteries. And that is why the DeWalt is a little bit behind but lasts longer and the Milwaukee is way ahead but doesn't quite last as long. So there's a little give and a take there. The Milwaukee, I believe, is still an overall better value considering that you get the two five amp hour batteries and then you have the five year warranty on the tool versus the three year for the DeWalt. That's just my personal opinion. I think the Milwaukee's still a little bit better. Still upset that I can't come on here and just completely trash the DeWalt because it lost in everything. Basically what all of this boils down to and 
what we learned is if you are paid by the hour, DeWalt. If you're paid by the job, Milwaukee. Anyway, so if there's anything else that you guys want to see me test, like any other tools or any other products that you want to see me test against each other or whatever, leave a comment down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.